I know, I know, Canva can feel a little bit overwhelming at first, but don't worry. In this video, I'll guide you through the essential tools you need to know in order to feel confident using Canva. Hi, my name is Diana, and I've been running this YouTube channel with my husband, Ronnie, for the last seven years, where we teach you everything about Canva. We are both Canva verified experts, and because of that, we get early access to new tools and are invited to Canva events where we learn about the latest insights and updates. This ensures you get first-hand information in our videos. And by the way, if you are an entrepreneur or a content creator, we are launching a new membership for you, where we guide you, give you structure and workflows to grow your business with content. So make sure to join our email list to get early access and I think it's time to start the tutorial. I'm pretty sure you all know Canva is a free design platform, but did you know you can do more than that? You can create presentations and present within Canva. You can also edit animations, videos, create and send emails, build websites, and even generate apps with AI. I know many of you are just discovering Canva and may not have an account yet. You can easily create one for free with the link I left in the description. This will open a window and from here you can create your free Canva account. After creating your account, you're going to head to canva.com. This is the place where you're going to start creating any design. Now, I want you to pay attention to the left panel. This is basically your navigation bar. And we're going to start discovering from top to bottom. On the first position, you have this button, which will open a menu. You can close it by clicking again. But if you're a beginner, I do recommend you keep it open as this will show you more options as you are moving from section to section. You can create a new design with this plus icon. This one will take you straight to the homepage. In projects, you will find all of your designs and folders. In templates, you can browse not only the template library, but also the photos, graphics, creators, and content you have stored. And now we have Canva AI, which is like a digital colleague that will help you design, generate images, videos, write docs, and even can code for you. And I actually recommend you watch this video right here to learn more about Canva AI. Let's continue. Under more, you have brand, apps, grow, content planner, and the design school. At the bottom, you have the notification bell and your profile picture, which will give you access to your account settings. And lastly, you'll see the trash can where you'll be able to restore any file or document you have deleted within the last 30 days. By now, you should feel confident navigating Canva. But what about the editor? This is the place where you'll create your designs. And as I already mentioned, you can create different things in Canva. So depending on what you need to create, the editor will look different. But with the basics that I'm going to show you now, you'll be able to navigate any of these editors with ease. Now, I'm still here in the trash section and I'm going to create a new document. So for this, I'm going to go to templates and then I'm going to select the kind of document that I want to create. In this case, I'm going to go for a social media document and I do recommend you do the same so you can follow exactly what I'm going to show you on this tutorial. I'm going to go for a social media post because this is the content that most of us will create at some point. So I'm going to go for this one and I'm going to go for the Instagram post right here. If you don't see it under popular, you can click on Instagram and then find it in here. And to create a new document, you just need to click on this thumbnail. This will open this new document in the editor. So right now we're going to discover all the tools available in the editor for you to be able to create something new in Canva. The first thing you see on top of the screen is the navigation bar. And I do suggest you check it out on your own, not to make this tutorial longer, but the highlight I think you should know is that it contains the button that will allow you to download your files, but I will explain this in detail in a while. And as you can tell, I'm trying to make this tutorial as beginner friendly. And the last thing that I want is to overwhelm you with a lot of information, right? So I have created a 
free seven day roadmap that you can follow to really master Canva. And I left the link in the description so you can download it completely free. We then have the side panel, which is going to be your best friend because this will give you access to the different libraries in Canva and also to different tools that you are going to be using again and again. You can find the template library from the design tab. You can type anything you need in this search bar, hit submit, and you'll have your search results on the same window. And in this result, you will see a mix of premium templates, the ones with this little crown and free templates that they don't have any label on them. If you want to use any of these templates, simply click on the thumbnail on the image. And if that template has more than one page, it will open like this. And if you want to bring any of these designs to your document, simply click on the image. If the template you want to bring to your design only has one page, once you click on the image, it will be automatically applied to your page. Now, let me go back and I want to show you a cool trick in here. Whenever you're working in Canva, you see that when you hover on any of these tabs, this window will open. But once you move your cursor away, this window will disappear. If you want to fix this window, which I actually find more useful, you just need to click on any of these icons. I'm going to click on this sign. You will see that every time that I move my cursor away, the window is actually fixed. If you want to focus on your design and you want to close this window, simply hit on this little arrow right here. Now, let me come back to design because I actually want to use this template right here. Now, when you go to elements, you will see exactly the same search bar we saw on design. So let me go back to design. We have here a search bar and in elements it's exactly the same thing and what I like to do here is to do my search so I can either hit enter or click on this button and then you will see that the search result is a little bit different in here because we have different categories we have graphics photos frames videos 3d elements mockups and audio and you can also filter your search result by hitting any of these labels in here so you can see that I can let's say click on graphics graphics and I will only see graphics in here. If you want to bring any of them to your design, simply click or drag and you will see them directly on your design. Now let me go back. I just need to click on this X to close this filter. And what I like about having all of these categories in here is that sometimes they will inspire me and help me be more creative. Now let me clear this search just to show you a little bit about the browse categories that we have in here. We have shapes, graphics, 3D elements, stickers, photos, frames, grids, videos, audio, forms, mockups, charts, sheets, and tables. As you can see, you have a lot of things to use and remember that you can use them even with a Canva free account. And of course, you will see that there are a lot of premium features, a lot of premium content, but you can still do a lot with a free account. Now, let me show you a couple of these categories in here. Let me open shapes. From here, you have a bunch of different shapes that you can add to your designs. So let me, for example, bring here clouds. And you see that just by clicking on any of these elements you will have them directly on your design you can also change the color from here and play around with these elements and now let me show you something pretty cool about the shapes and it is that when you select your shape and then go to the toolbar there is this button that says edit from here you can change your shape by simply clicking on the shape you want to use now let me go back and show you another category more that i'm sure you are going to be using a lot and that I find quite quite useful. This category is frames and this one basically will allow you to crop your images. So let me bring for example this circle right here and then let's go again here to photos and then bring any photo inside the frame. You just simply drag and drop and as you can see the photo is already cropped in a circle and when you go to frames you will see that there are a lot of different categories. So 
I really suggest you go and browse the frame library. Now, let me go back to these categories and I just want to show you one more before moving to the next section because I also find it very, very valuable. And before that, I really suggest you go over each of these sections and discover what it is inside of them because you will see that you can do so much with Canva. But before, the one that I want to show you it is mockups. It is pretty similar to frames in the sense that you can bring any of these options right here and then simply drag an image on the mockup and Canva will do the magic for you. And what I love about mockups is that they really help you elevate your brand in a very easy way. Moving on, we have text. This is where you can add new text boxes to your design. You can also add page numbers in case that you have multiple page designs and you want to add this little page number to them. You also have apps and font combinations to have fun with text. Then there is brand, which is a premium feature and I really recommended for those of you who are entrepreneurs who have a small business who are content creators and are serious about your business and as this is a beginner friendly tutorial and i suppose many of you are using a free account i'm not going into detail about this premium feature but if you have a canva free account and would love to try this feature out we have a 30-day free trial of canva pro in the description and below brand we have uploads from here you can upload images videos videos, audio, and you can also organize your files from here. It is pretty simple. You simply click on this button to access the files on your computer, or you can also click on these three dots to access some other upload options. Now, I want to show you something cool. I have a couple of images that I have uploaded here in my account. And if you want to edit your template and exchange or replace any of the images you see on the design, it is pretty, pretty simple. You simply have to drag and drop your image the same way as we did it with frames. So let's say I want to replace this image for one of ourselves. So I'm going to drag the image on top of this one and you will see that Canva will automatically replace it after you hover on top of the other image and that's it. And now if you want to further customize your design, you can also change the text in the design. So for example, this hiking text that we have in here, I can simply double click to access the text and change it for whatever I want. So let's say Sydney tips for beginners. And then if you want to change the color on any of the elements on your design, you're going to use the toolbar that will always be available in here whenever you select any element and change the colors from here. So we have text color and I'm going to add a custom color that I see here on the image. So I'm going to click on plus and then select the color picker. This will allow me to select any color on the image and we'll do the same for these other two text boxes. Now, if you want to delete any element on the design, simply select it and you will see another floating bar appearing on top with more options available. So from here, I'm going to hit delete and these elements will be gone. Now let's go to tools. This little section contains some options that we can already find from the elements and text tabs. But the big difference is that we can find the drawing tool. When you click here, you'll have access to a pencil, marker, highlighter, eraser, you can select the color from here, the color from your pen, and you'll be able to adjust the weight and transparency of your lines. So let me try it out. I'm going to use the marker. I'm going to go for, let's see, green color, and you just need to draw. And then if you want to move your doodles, make sure to use this tool here, and this will allow you to move your doodle. Then I want to show you something cool in here, and it is that in Canva, you can use layers. So go to position. In this case, I want to bring this doodle behind my text. So I'm going to go to layers and then simply bring it under Sydney. As you can see, my doodle is now behind the text. And if I want, I can add some more doodles to my design like so.
Now let's go back to the side panel and you will see that you can also find your projects directly from the editor. And lastly, you will find here the famous Canva apps that will allow you to get more out of Canva. You can see here a couple of examples of apps. This one will allow you to create reflections. You can see here the shoe. You can turn photos into drawings and so much more. That's pretty much it about the side panel. And then you have some other tools that will allow you to design which we have seen along the video and these will be available whenever you click on any element on your design so let's say for example in here you will see that there are some shapes or illustrations of clouds that are on top of the text so let me delete it so you can see it clearly let me go back so when i click on this cloud you will see a toolbar and then when i click on the text the toolbar will change you will see tools that will relate to every Every element that you select on the page. So I really recommend you go and play around with these tools. These are the ones that will take your designs even further. And before I show you how to download your beautiful designs, I want to show you something important in here. You can add more pages to your design. I already showed you really quick how to do it, but I'm going a little bit more into detail as I believe this is quite important. You will see below your page this big button that says add page you can click here to add another page the same as the one that you see here on page number one but you can also add different document types in the same canva design so let me delete this page and instead of clicking on this big button i'm going to click on this little arrow which is going to give me more options so in the same design in the same document i can add pages with different formats so let's say that i I need to create a sheet that is related to this social media post so I can simply click here and as you can see I have now a new sheet in the same design if I wanted to go to the first page I simply go to grid view and go to page number one if I wanted to add more pages I can also do it from here by clicking on the plus icon or by adding another type of page so let's say that I want to add this time a document or a a presentation. This has been one of the most exciting and useful features that Canva released in 2025. So I really suggest that you try them out as well. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to select these pages and delete them and go to page number one. Now I'm going to show you how to download this beautiful design. You're going to click on share on top of the screen. And then from here, you'll have different options to share your design. I'm just going to show you how to download it as this is the basic form of sharing your design. You're simply going to click download and then from here select your file type. In this case the suggested file type is mp4 video and I believe it is because some of these elements have animations applied to them. So let me click on a couple of these elements to see if they have animations on them. Perfect, yes I see them in here. So what I was searching is the following. When I click on this text box, I don't see the animate button highlighted. And the same goes for the clouds, the doodle that I created. But when I clicked on this text box, I see that animate is highlighted. So pay attention to the animate button. When I click on Sydney, it is not highlighted. But when I click on tips, it is highlighted. So that's why the file type recommended is mp4. But I want to download it as a PNG. Going to share, go to download. And then from here, you can select a different file type. You can select JPEG, PNG, PDF, SVG if you have a Canva Pro account, MP4 which is video, GIF and PPTX. I'm gonna go for PNG and then hit download and this is going to start downloading the file on your computer. If you are interested in our membership for entrepreneurs and content creators, make sure to join our email listing here. I think that's it for this tutorial and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye!